Hi everyone, I'm Drew with Mobility Direct and I am super excited to review the all new Pride Mobility Pursuit 2 Heavy Duty Mobility Scooter. Mobility Direct Get stability, it'll only take a set. Take a set. Why deal with all that stress? There's no competition when you're dealing with the best. Mobility direct. Get stability, it'll only take a set. Take a set. Why deal with all that stress? There's no competition when you're dealing with the best. You wanna get out, but you're stuck in the house. Can't really walk and you need to get around. Well, come on down to mobility direct. They get you in the scooter, it'll only take a set. You're dealing with the best. Got prices for less. The park go to beach and put a Scooters to the test. And our mobility scooters ride all day long. That's because they run on Dakota Lithium. And come on, we could go for miles and miles. So much battery power, ride right for hours and hours. You need wheels? Well, we got deals. So just stop on by and come and get one of ours. Cause when it comes directly to mobility, uh -huh. there ain't nobody else out there that can't compete. Nope. Subscribe to our YouTube cause you know it's free. Yeah. Mobility Direct, we got what you mobility need. Mobility Direct. Get stability, it'll only take a set. Take a set. Why deal with all that stress? There's no competition when you're dealing with the best. Hey. Before we get into this, I'd like to make mention that if you haven't been to our website, make sure you do because you can get a copy of your very own free catalog just by going to mobilitydirect.com. Click on the free catalog link, fill out your information, and we will have it to you in just a couple weeks. Now, here we have the all new. Pride Mobility Pursuit 2. As you can see, it's an absolute beautiful scooter. This is model number SC7132. It has a maximum weight capacity of 400 pounds and a max speed of up to 9.3 miles per hour. At the transaxle, which is where the motor is, you have a ground clearance of 3.8 inches, and it has a really good turning radius for its size at 69.3 inches. Its overall length is 57 and a half inches with an overall wheelbase of 29.7. I should say that's the outside of the wheels would be the widest point. The armrests are adjustable and you have a seat in 18 by 18 and you can get it all the way up to a 22 inch wide seat. It's gonna come with an eight amp charger. The batteries on this particular scooter are lithium and you will get with one battery up to 20 miles per charge but if you get a second battery which this is capable of getting you can get up to 40 miles per charge with this mobility scooter the weight with the batteries is going to be 242 pounds and this scooter does not disassemble it also has a front and rear CTS suspension and rear braking system which is regenerative and electromechanical. So here's our key. We have a little cover here. Let's go ahead and put that in. So you turn it on. You can see here this is our battery gauge. Right now it's fully charged. Here is your speed control. You can turn it to the left counterclockwise would be the turtle, the slower speed, and you can turn it up to here which would be the fastest speed. Now, keep in mind, it has a, a drive mode and a sport mode. So if you wanna go a little faster with a little zip, you can turn this speed up here. Or if you just wanna cruise with the lower speed, you can turn it right there. It has a couple of different buttons. You have your horn on each side and you have a turn signal on each side. Your hazards are here. And you also have a front light on the front of the scooter there. It's a beautiful automotive light. It also has rear lights, so your visibility is going to be to the maximum when you're out on the road for nighttime cruises. Now, back up here at the tiller, if you look on the underside, we have a couple different things going on here. This is an, an adjustment for the tiller. All we do is simply press up on this lever and that's gonna be able to allow you to position the tiller to your comfort. Just below that, you have your XLR port. That is where you charge your scooter. You're gonna line up the cylinder and just plug it straight on in. Here's your fuse box. If some of your electronics 
uh, ever stop working, the first place to check is going to be your fuse box. And right here is a USB port. You can plug in your mobility devices to stay on the charge. It's got one there and then you get two different fuses and they're related to the battery and tiller. Next, we have a very spacious floorboard. And with that being said, if you're tall, you can adjust your seat because it has a sliding seat. So if you put the seat all the way back, you have even more room. I'm almost six feet tall and I fit on the scooter with ease. All right, moving forward, as you can see, you have some nice contrast in the stitching, black seat, white stitching, and it's also water resistant, which is very nice. The seat can fold down, just like so, and the headrest is also adjustable, just like so. The seat has a very nice, comfortable memory foam. It's very, very comfortable for those long rides. The armrests are adjustable and width, and they can also flip up so you can get out of the scooter easily. The seat rotates for easy entering and exiting of the scooter. On the back, of the chair, you have a pocket. You can put some literature, use your manual, or whatever you like in there. On the back side of the scooter here, we have a, a port, an accessory port, so you can get a rear basket, walker holder, cane holder, fishing pole holder, you name it. There's multiple things that you can put on here, so I just want to give you an example. Here is a rear basket. It's one of the most common accessories. It has a locking pin and a thumb knob, so what we're going to do is Bring this in to the back of the scooter as much as possible. And we're just gonna go ahead and put in our pin, tighten it up, and here you go. You got our little rear basket. Last but not least here, we have our we have our brake here. And you can lock the brake just like so. And these are disc brakes on the front end. So this lever will activate the disc brake just in case you need to stop in a, in a much needed hurry. The scooter does stop pretty quickly on its own, but if you need a little extra help, just squeeze this handbrake and you can set it as a parking brake as well. All right, so how do we use the scooter? It's very simple. All you do is you take your pride mobility key, you insert it into the ignition and you turn it on. This is your speed control as we discussed earlier. And what it's controlled by is this little throttle, AKA a wig wag. It is ambidextrous. It can be used by just using one hand. So you can squeeze and make the scooter run forward, or you can use your index finger and push it to make it go in reverse. So the scooter can be operated by a left-handed user or a right-handed user. Um, it's very simple. Also on the back side of the scooter here, we have the brake, and if you press this forward, that's gonna allow you to put the scooter into freewheel mode, just in case if you need this to move the scooter and you don't have the key or the battery dies. The way to operate the scooter is it must be in the drive position. So when you're riding on the scooter, this LED will illuminate. When you stop, it will turn off. Here's your front basket. can also be removed by pressing on this tab and lifting up. And just put it back on so. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of the all new Pride Mobility Pursuit 2 Heavy Duty Mobility Scooter. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you subscribe to our channel, this is all you could be the next lucky winner of our mobility scooter giveaway. That's right, we give away a free mobility scooter every month, so make sure that you subscribe. Tell your friends and family about it. Tell everybody about it. If you need parts from Pride Mobility, make sure you visit our website, mobilitydirect.com. Thanks for watching, and we hope you have a great one.
Take it real.